Greetings, everybody. Gleekon here again with another episode of Lore of Warcraft. We are continuing along with our early Second War um, lore, as per Chronicles. Um, we spent the last couple episodes talking about just how these orcs got control of the dragons, because it's important that they got that right in the lore, um, since they just decided to throw dragons in the second game. Um, and dragons become so powerful and important in the overall lore of Warcraft that, you know, it, it would have to be important that they did that right. So stay a while and listen to this one. It's called the Arathi Bloodline. If you recall from the novels we've recently read and earlier in the lore, the Arathi Bloodline, they were basically the original humans that had created Strom and um, in the seat of in where the Hillsbrad region is now and where Stromgard is. So Trollbane, he now sits at that seat. Um, I don't know that he is necessarily the main heir. The book that we read recently said um, that Lothar was the last of the Arathi bloodline. So let's see what this says about that. Stay a while and listen. As the Horde was bolstering its forces, so too was the Alliance. Lothar had the full might of the human nations at his command but he would take no chances against the Horde. He sought help wherever he could, including from the ancient and powerful High Elves of Quelth Loss. Long ago, humans and elves had fought a bloody war against the Amani Trolls. Only by uniting had Quelth Loss and Lothar's ancestors triumphed over their enemies. Following the victory, the High Elves swore an oath to the human king Thoradin. If he or any of his bloodline ever acquired aid in the future, Quelth Loss would give it without question. Lothar carried Thoradin's blood, and he beseeched the High Elves to make good on their ancient pact, so they've referred to that in um, the novel. Lothar's call to war was met with mixed feelings in Quel'Thalas. The High Elf King and Asterion Sunstrider had heard rumors about strange creatures in the south, but he did not consider them a threat. He sent only a small elven fleet to the Alliance, commanding the rest of his forces to stay in Quel'Thalas. Not everyone did. The highly skilled ranger captain, Illyria Windrunner, disobeyed her king's orders and brought a handful of her fellow elves south. Okay, so... Um, all right. She believed the Horde was a much greater danger than most of her kin did, and she was determined to see what the orcs could do with her own eyes. Though Lothar was disappointed with the small number of elves who joined the Alliance, he didn't show up publicly. He welcomed them with open arms. The rangers in particular would serve a much-needed role as archers, scouts, and mobile support troops. The elves arrived in Hillsbred Foothills by sea just as dire news reached Lothar. Like most members of the Alliance, he had expected the Horde to invade the north by crossing the Thandal Span, an effort that would have taken many more months. Yet human scouts reported that the orcs had constructed a fleet and they were poised to set sail. The invasion would happen much sooner than Lothar had anticipated. Lothar urged the rest of the Alliance's armies to gather in Hillsbred Foothills, the most likely place the Horde would make landfall. To waylay the Orcish fleet for the time being, the Supreme Commander called upon Admiral Dalin Proudmore and the Alliance Navy. So you could make the argument that the first level that we just did really should have waited to about right here for the humans because there was elves. Well, no, there were elves in the first Horde level. So really the whole game in a way you could, could have waited to play till about here because now we have the elves involved. So we have elvish archers and rangers that will eventually come on the battlefield. And we have us moving into Hillsbrad, which South Shore, Zuldair is part of that. The Alliance Navy, that's part of that. Um, so, yes. Um, the elves have officially joined it. We could hypothetically do the second human level now, but we're going to do the second orc one first. Um, also, that second human level kind of alludes to the fact that they needed to convince the elves to join. Even though, again, they're already getting killed and fought in the first. They're already in Zul'dare working with humans. So the orc storyline, you could argue, starts a little after the human one does. All right, but that's all neither. That's all just small ticky tack. Um, we now have an understanding of why the elves have joined and why it is only elven archers and rangers. We also have the mention of an elvish hero there, um, Illyrian, what did they say her name was, Windstrider? Illyria Windrunner, and that's a familiar name, so she's probably some kind of hero that is uh, 
we're going to come across more and more. All right, we, oh, and is she Sylvanas' sister? Because isn't that Sylvanas' last name? Hmm. Okay. Or maybe Sylvanas is, no, it's not for elves. No, I was going to say mother, but no, that doesn't make sense. All right, another episode in the pipes, 5 by 5 I thank you so much for listening. I'll see you on the next episode of Lore of Warcraft.